Okay, guys. They also do a, a different type, ne? Besides from that chain. Okay, table. Continue. All right, okay, guys. So besides type one and type two, they can also give you the E type and also the, the A type, ne? So you have different type. And remember, I said the one machine which type are you supposed to be using, ne? You have to check with your equation which you, which will be given. You see which uh, which method are you supposed to to use? So you also have the uh, the E type with the only the type whereby you have the integration of what of e to the power f at x and then <coughs> multiply by the derivation of what which is f at x what prime. Eh? Or you can also have a constant to the power f at x and then multiply by the f at x uh, prime. Eh? All right, okay. So let's say you are given e to the power f at x. <coughs> your integral it will be e to the power f at x plus plus c simple as what. Simple as that. So how do you see that you are going to use this type? They say they gave you a certain equation, but they say they say e to the power five x. Ne? So on this type, you know that you are going to use which type? You are going to, to use this type. Ne? And then on the a type, it's just like a constant. The same as what? Let's say you are given nine to the power five five x. Remember, I said a is what? It's a constant. That's why you use the second type. And then on the e type, you use the same as what? Is this? Ne? So the same thing that we're doing. You have to identify your, your f at x, ne? and how do you identify your f at x? It will be e to the power, to, uh, to the power certain, certain function. Ne? Okay, so you're going to identify your f at x, it will be e to the power something. So you're going to take your f at x on the, on the power of what? Of e, ne? and then you derivate. After you derivate, you correct. After you correct, you introduce your, your formula. The same thing that we're, we're doing. Ne? Okay, let's try something. Okay, I'm given the integral of e to the power minus x dx. Ne? Okay, what's the first thing? You have to identify your, your f at x. Ne? What is my f at x? I said on the e, you're going to identify your f at x, to the, which is to the power of what? Of e, ne? which is what? Negative? X. Negative x. So I'm going to take my f at x, which is negative x. And what do we do? I have to derive that. Ne? What is the derivation of negative x? Negative 1. Negative, negative 1. And I have to correct, ne? Yeah. Okay, how do you correct? Check on your... It says e to the power f at x multiplied by uh, prime f at x, ne? So which means I have to correct with the value which is here, ne? And you know, this is da, uh, da, the same as what I have 1. What? I have 1 here, ne? Okay, and how do I correct? I said you can correct with the number or what? Or a sign. Eh? So in this case, I have negative one and I have one here. What do I correct with? Sign. I I correct with the sign, eh? which means I'm going to correct with one with the negative. And I said it must cancel. So if you put a negative here, you must also put the negative outside the outside the integral sign. Eh? So and then after you introduce your your formula, eh? so it's gonna be negative of what of e to the power negative x negative x plus plus c. Then you are done. So you just have to identify your f at x, which is e to the power, to the power something, and then you derive it that after you correct and then you substitute your on your on your formula. Ne? Okay. <laughs> Let us also try something. I'm giving integral of x e to the power 3x squared minus 2x. Huh? Alright, okay. So I'm given something like this. Okay. So I said what's the first thing? We identify our f at x. Huh? And we just e to the power sum that that's our f at x. Huh? So in this case, my f at x is what? Is this. Huh? Is equal to 3x squared minus Minus two, ne? and then what you have to do? You have to derive this. What is the derivation of this? Six, six x, ne? and then after you have to, you have to correct, ne? Okay, when I'm correcting here, I can see that I have x here. I have what? I have six x, ne? And don't be confused. You see that they they wrote it this side instead of what? Of this side, it's just the same, ne? They can even if they put this thing in bracket, they can even write the, the x this side, just the. Just the same. And now I'm going to correct what? With six, ne? 
and then to make it the same out with one over six outside the bracket, so it's gonna be one over one over six of what? Of e to the power plus plus c, and then you're done. All right, check in. Let us see another one that we can try here. Okay, I'm given the integral of a cos x sine x dx. Né? Okay, so this one is what is the other time. Né? Remember, I said you have the e type and then also the one of a constant. Né? So this one uh, is the one which you have. Which you have a, and then I said the first thing you have to identify your your f at x. What is my f at x here? It's cos. What is the derivation of cos x? Negative sign. Negative sign. Sign x, ne? Alright. Okay, and then after that you have to correct. You see that here I have what? I have sign here I have what? I have negative, ne? Okay, so I'm going to correct it what? Yeah. With the negative here and then here. Also the bracket the negative, ne? And then which formula am I going to use? Now I'm going to use which formula? This one, ne? Alright, okay, it says a to the power f at x. And then I have a negative. Okay, and then a, what is my? A to the power, what is my f at x? Cos. Divide by lean. Lean a, what is my a? Just a, ne? Plus. Let's see. And then you're done. Okay, is it difficult? So make sure, guys, on, on, on this type, you just have to identify your f at x, right? You derivate, you correct, and then you use your, your formula. And then the formula is this one they're given on your formula. On your formula sheet, right? Eh? Okay, you can copy that.